things that I did from the late 1970s through the late 1990s. Um, this is a portrait of the community in the early years. These slides are uh, selections from an exhibit that I had at the National Queer Arts Festival in 2001 at Somars down on Brand Street. Um, this first one is called Somquatis, and it features two friends of mine, Tommy on the left and his twin brother uh, Doug on the right, who I first met in the late 1960s and the early 1970s. I went to uh, City College with uh, Doug and studied art then, and uh, later I met his brother, a performance and, uh, artist and dancer, uh, a few years later. Doug lived here in the city, and Tommy lived in Hollywood. And through them and their friends, gay Latinos, mostly Mexican Americans and Cuban Americans, uh, I got to know the gay bar and club scene here and in the LA area in Hollywood. Uh, I, I visited uh, places like Estenoche, which some of you may remember, closed last year, uh, the Trocadero, uh, Studio One, and I just remembered last night, the IB, used to be on Hay Street. So I, got, I also got to know the meaning of camp for these characters. <laughs> Interior was the Hollywood apartment where Tommy lived for many years. And the feature at this upright piano was his uh, on-again, off-again partner of some 15 years, uh, Robert. Deja Vu is a self-portrait of me uh, wearing some of Tommy's theatrical outfits. And it was taken by uh, our friend David who was one of Doug's lovers uh, in the early 1980s. And he's actually behind my camera taking a picture of us in the same Hollywood apartment in a mirror. So the whole image is backwards. And you can see by the camera, the Manolta is backwards. Uh, and what I did was I cropped the piece. This is Robert again in 1986, and it's called Departure. Tommy died in 1984. Featured in Domestic Partners uh, is uh, celebrating the 10th anniversary uh, of uh, Mike Couch and Rick Bakura. Mike's on the left, Rick is on the right. Rick passed away in 2001 from AIDS-related complications. Both were involved in lesbian gay politics, electoral politics in San Francisco, and worked for a number of the legislators and politicians in town. Uh, you can see Rick wearing an Art Agnos for mayor uh, sweatshirt. And when Agnos became mayor, uh, many of us worked under him or others uh, in various capacities. I was appointed to San Francisco Human Rights Commission, where I served for four years under Mayor Agnos. This is a uh, composition in color and the light, a painting of Nancy standing in front of the landmark cash the theater box office. This never looks so pristine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she once worked as the aide to supervisor Barbara Kaufman in that time frame. And uh, the title for me is sort of a reference to James uh, Whistler's famous painting composition in gray and black number one, otherwise known as Whistler's mother. Break from pulp shows lesbian pulp fiction writer Nikki Baker on the right and her childhood friend Angela with Nikki's corgi dog. This old photo, probably taken around the late 1970s or uh, early 1980s, shows Tommy and Robert in the same uh, Hollywood apartment that I depicted in interior earlier uh, and at the same piano sharing an intimate moment. I painted this apartment and many parts of this place uh, repeatedly. Um, and I still have a key to the door. <laughs> of all the young men depicted in this 
a short little essay, Only Two Remain. Wife lives right around the corner from me on, on, in the Lower Haight, not far from the little diner where he and Rick posed for the commission portrait they had done, and I painted. When Rick died, this painting was shown in North Lake Court uh, at City Hall, where a public memorial was held. And Robert remains one of my closest friends to this day. And sometimes when we talk, we can hardly believe that we went through this era where essentially we lost everyone we knew. This 1987 edition of The Sentinel uh, features 10 women who had done work uh, serving the community around AIDS, SIDA. It reads in part, from emotional support to direct action, women have responded overwhelmingly to the call for helping their gay brothers through this devastating epidemic which affects us all. My role during this time frame was organizing a lesbian blood drive through the Harvey Note Lesbian Gay Democratic Club, which went on for nine years. One of the drug therapies during this time frame was AZT, and the um, uh, downside of this uh, drug then for a lot of people was uh, anemia, so it required repeated transfusion. So uh, every summer at Most Holy Redeemer Catholic Church over on Diamond Street, we held a blood drive, and uh, women from all over the area uh, came in, and in the late years, sometimes you would see young guys coming in with the baby strollers, and uh, as well as uh, some you know, leather uh, women and their Harleys and whatnot. So it was really a diverse community that showed up, and it really gave the blood, local blood bank an eyeful <laughs> during these events. <clears throat> Uh, the building where we did this, uh, this event is uh, now uh, coming home hospice and it's still there over on Diamond Street. Thank you.